82 degrees, light rain at the moment in Tampa as the image of the Lombardi Trophy adorns the skyline. And now inside Raymond James Stadium, where the world champion, Super Bowl champion, Tampa Bay Buccaneers come out onto the field to face their old coach, Tony Dungy and the Indianapolis Colts. From the 26 yard line, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers begin their second drive with a play action pass. If Johnson can get it off, which he does. And out in front and making the catch is Keenan McCardell for a touchdown. Johnson got hit. Rob Morris hit him at 74 yards as he got by the secondary, and the Buccaneers take the lead. That wasn't meant to travel that far, though. No. First and 10 from the 26. And now Manning on a screen to Ricky Williams. And Brooks hits him first. And then three other red shirts come in. Williams again. Ricky Williams. Always going to mix his defenses up. And he's been doing that tonight. Not a lot of blitz, though. Third and seven. Now a blitz. Manning gets leveled and the pass is incomplete intended for Harrison and that was Nate Webster. He's actually seven and three on Monday night but maybe he's already put this one in the saddlebag. That would make him eight and three and on first and 20 the pass is caught by by Johnson who was the number one overall pick in the 96 draft. He's caught one ball for three yards tonight and Johnson swings it to the outside goes to Keyshawn. And he has a first down up at the 33 yard line. Came here in 2000. First down and 10 now from the 33 yard line. Johnson steps up. A floater that just hangs in the air like a hanging curveball. And Mike Doss picks it up and then he fumbles. And the Bucks have it. And McCardell is going to run to the end zone for his second touchdown of the game. up at the 27 yard line every brain in the joints going to be frazzled by the end of the game third and three from the 34 and that's caught in traffic and not enough for the first down they bunched it to the right Harrison is there and Tim Wansley is able to knife in that's how he get his catches huh and he the best receiver and he the best receiver in the NFL that's how he get his catches that's how and that's how he get his catches 14-0 Tampa Bay, first and 10 for the Bucs as we start the second period from their 40-yard line. And Johnson to a wide open. Keyshawn Johnson to the 35, and they're finding every hole. 25-yard gain, three grabs tonight for Key. Pittman on the ground. Pittman for seven. Second down and two from the 27-yard line. Pittman. Showing more change of direction than Ariana Huffington. Sapp probably thinking about getting in in goal line. Second down and eight. Here's Dilger. And he takes it to the eight, and that's a first down. Reggie Barlow. There are the wideouts. And Johnson, with four to choose from, picks Barlow. Touchdown. There they are, total yards first, pass yards first. Somehow 50 <laughs> against the rush. Joker on that left side. Third down and 10 from the 43 yard line. Fake to McCardell, set up the screen to Pittman. Pittman to the 48 yard line, short of the first. Jump it all over the place. Tupas kick. At that on its right on its point. They need some breathing room to begin with. James Mungro is the running back, and Tampa Bay can smell two. 
but Mungro gives them some breathing room as he takes it out to the six yard line. Topham on this second and third down, they will use that one timeout. And Indy couldn't afford to take a timeout there. They've got to get a first down, and they do now as Harrison makes the catch. And now they can think about start taking a, a timeout. And here comes Peyton to say, all right, let's take it right now. Second down and 10 from the 16 yard line. And that is dropped. Dropped by Troy Walters. Pressure, swing it out, caught by Dallas Clark. And he runs into half the defense. 43 yard line. No clap point. That's where a round of applause as Ken Dilger makes the catch 43. Now Johnson will come up, most likely spike it. Does. Second down and 10, 11 seconds from the 42. Johnson looking to the sideline, going deep down the left sideline, tipped and that's incomplete. 60 yards away. And the kick is just short. On target, but a little short. But Martin's going to come along at the half, along with Santana. Lexus halftime show coming your way Monday night at the mic. 21 nothing bucks at the half and back we come after this message from the NFL to work from our ABC stations. Well Edger and James gone but no production from the ground game with the little committee as Manning calls them and they begin with a slant to Marvin Harrison. Both hurting themselves with penalties 47 yards and penalties in the opening half. Now a draw and Ricky Williams takes off. And that will give Indianapolis a spark as he gets to the Tampa Bay 45 yard line but averaging just 5.6 yards per reception. Yeah that's nothing. He's there. He's their big play and he and, and they have to get him as a big playmaker. And Keyshawn Johnson was mocking those numbers in the first half. Colts have not converted a third down tonight. This is their sixth attempt. Going deep wide open that's caught Marvin Harrison touchdown that was exactly what we're talking about right there he wants to throw against that they came in the eight man up so he knows that he has man to man on the outside. Here they come with protection gets the pass away Pittman has the first down and a lot more up to the 35 yard line. Picks up 20, picks up the first down, and now Johnson rolling right, throwing on the run, hits his namesake up to the 48, and another Tampa Bay first down, and they're rolling again. He was ready to come. Yeah, it wasn't very clean because they fired Tony and they didn't have someone in mind. They were lucky to get John Gruden. 37, they paid a dear price for him as Pittman tries to get the first down and is close and appears to have it. Second and two from the 32. Whoa, huge hole inside the 20. Finally rolled down to the 15. So this drive for Tampa Bay started in of the second half, but now the Bucks trying to culminate a long drive here, up by 14. Third down and 10 from the 15 as Brad Johnson goes to the end zone, and it is caught for the touchdown by McCardell, his third touchdown of the night. That's my theory. Again, John, right on top of it. I never quite thought of it in those terms. You're right. This is caught by Marcus Pollard, and the big tight end takes it all the way to the 45 yard line. First and 10 now at the 44 yard line. Oh, baby. Greg Spires takes a hold of Dominique Rhodes. Second and 15 from the Tampa Bay 49 yard line. Flag is thrown and that is caught by Marvin Harrison. Yeah, I think Dungy probably talking about, you know, not using excuses, but in effect, I mean, how do you not miss somebody like that? And it's Dallas Clark making the catch on a third and three and pulling off a Jeremy Shockey invitation as he takes it to the 25 yard line, first down. And again, you're going to see him come in motion, then he's going to run a crossing pattern right there. 
And it looks like after a while he is wide open, but he wasn't even looking back. After that 11 yard gain, it's dumped off over the middle of Ricky Williams. And he. Fakes to Harrison, goes the other way, caught by Reggie Wayne. Good move inside the five. And Ricky Williams. And it's Williams for the touchdown. Flag down, though. Thrown at the line of scrimmage. Peyton Manning is saying that it's against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Offside, defense, line up in the neutral zone. The penalty is declined. The touchdown is good. Yeah, who, who do you think has bigger arms, the Hulkster or Pittman? Proportionately Pittman. No, I take Pittman, period. Period? Put a tape around it. I take Pittman. Gross inches. Second and five. And that's a gain of six. Second and four. You know, Pittman, as he picks up the first down, he's having one of those games. No closure role for him tonight. Jameel Cook is the back. Johnson stepping up, tries to run for the first down and can't. Stopped by Marcus Washington. Straight games with a sack, third longest streak in the history of the league. And when you do the math on that, that is the equivalent of almost four whole seasons. First and 18. And number 18, you know, the minute you bring it up, that's all you have to do. That's all you have to do. Ellis Wim said, let's make it four straight seasons. All right, you wonder, you think, are they going to get through this game and not keep that streak up? They need it, but it, I mean, it's not only a consecutive. Second and 23 now from the three. Ricky Williams provides some space. And this defense, is, for the most part, has really smuggled them. Five and a half to play, third and long. A near sack again to Rodney Duck. There's your interception by Rondi Barber. So a sack and an interception on this drive and a touchdown. Extends their NFL record with 45 consecutive games with a sack and an interception. So it's just a matter of time. And that seals the deal. He's trying to go to Marvin Harrison. The Bucks are just playing a soft defense. Rondé Barber, the corner, is playing the slot corner. He just plays off. He reads Peyton Manning and just picks that thing off. By McCardell, the other Barber's interception return. So both of those turnovers have resulted in. Tampa touchdowns. Pyatt from the two yard line, and Brad Pyatt cuts it back, gets by Gramatica, now being chased from behind, and the last man to get him gets him at the 11 yard line, and then the ball is loose, but the official comes in and said the end of the play. Third down seven from the nine yard line as Manning throws, caught. And just short of the first is Marvin Harrison. Indy trying to stay alive. Mungro keeps them alive. And Mungro scores. He's in for the touchdown. First down and touchdown. So now the, the last time they kicked off, they kind of faked an onside kickoff, and the Bucks had to take a timeout. With a score 35 to 21. Bashir and he has it. Idris Bashir is able to come down with a perfect high hopper. Beautiful. From the 42 yard line. Manning. There's a flag. And that's caught by Troy Walters. Yeah. Skips high. Beautiful. First and 10, 43 yard line. Manning throws caught. First down. Marvin Harrison rolled down by Tim Wansley. 322 and counting down. This crowd, not the same crowd that was here an hour or so ago, but they're doing a pretty good job. Listen to them. They yeah, were down to less than 50%. Second down and four. 14. Manning hit from behind as he throws caught. That's Williams making the catch 27 yard line. 
Not only is Peyton Manning used to it, but the offense is used to it. Third and eight. Manning throws, and he leads Clark too much. They got to get one more play right here defensively. Manning buying time. Throwing, finding the open man. It's Harrison for the touchdown. And they're down by one score. And they didn't get the rush. Peyton Manning got what he wanted and found Mark, Mark Marvin Harrison. And now, and now we need another onside kick. So Harrison scores his second touchdown on his ninth reception. And after the onside kick. Yeah, and then and then the clock will stop after they catch the ball, change of possession, that stops the clock. Two minutes clock stops the clock. And they try it here. It's a bouncing ball. It's loose again. And well, the Colts will say they have it. No signal yet from any official. The officials are in on the pile. Tampa. Tampa Bay has it. Another one or a different one, and, and maybe this will work too. I agree with you. I would have gone back to what worked. Stecker again. So now they can't stop the clock, but the two minute warning will. It'll be third down and 12. Two minutes to go. They made it a game to the Colts. Seven point lead for Tampa. We brought the band in for a second, but they have to stop. And I think, you know, because of the way he runs an offense, Personal the things foul, that he can do. Unnecessary roughness. Number 67 of the offense. The foul is after the play. We will penalize 15 yards from the dead ball spot. Ken Yotta Walker. That's a two minute warning. The clock is showing 204. Johnny Greer said we'd come to the two minute warning. The clock was stopped on the flag. But they should wind it here. And take it to the two minute warning. I tell you, this is a big break for the Indianapolis Colts. If they're going to get a two minute warning, or if Johnny Greer's going to say that was a two minute warning at 204. Because if they give them that stop it there, and then also give them the two minute warning, that's an extra timeout. Well, we're going to have to get a clarification from the field. He announced the two minute warning, and the clock shows 204. Third down and 27. And this is Stecker who takes it to the 50. So now it's fourth and very long and now officially we come to the two minute warning. And there is stuff in the middle and not getting a big pass rush. Second and ten. Pressure. Caught. Seeking the first. Getting it. Troy Walters at the 27 and another penalty you bet. And watch Peyton Manning. The ball is gone, and Warren Sapp just gives him a bump. He tries not to wrap him, but he knew he knew what he was doing on that play. Took the step, took the extra step from the 41. Manning deep and out in front, and catching it is Harrison. He's down to the five-yard line. Tim Wansley stops him there at the six to the ground. To Williams, he's inside the one. Have to speed it up. They don't have to worry about. Spiking. No, they can milk it. Williams, is he in? Flag. He's in, but there's a flag. There's a flag down at the line of scrimmage. Dungey thinks it's against Tampa Bay. Peyton Manning Offside. thinks it's against Tampa Bay. It is. Defense, it's declined. The touchdown is good. This is off the charts. I think this is <laughs> very, very close. The Bucks are spread out with an empty backfield, and Keyshawn Johnson isn't one of them. He's on the bench at the moment. That's caught over the middle. Just an amazing comeback. First and ten at the 44. And that's Jones, and he's going to get out of bounds after a very short game. Up at the 48, and in fact, they're going to say he didn't get out of bounds. And thus, Tampa Bay has to take a timeout. He tried to get out, and they said no. They kept winding the clock. The Colts only come in a three man rush. Now, does he get out of bounds? I would think you call that out of bounds. I do, too. Well, the knee goes down. 
Second down and seven at the 47 yard line. So Johnson has to throw to the outside to Dilger and then he gets out of bounds at the 44. So now you're looking at a 61 or two yard field goal attempt. Blocked. It is blocked. It will roll to a stop, and we will go to one of the more improbable overtimes in recent times. Call it because the tail. He calls tails. It is a hand. Snapper wants the ball. Buccaneers get it to start OT. Third down and five. He's still wearing some field. <laughs> A minute and a half into OT. Play fake. Johnson throws. Caught by McCardell. That's a first down up to the 44 yard line. From the 44 and first down. McCardell motioning to the inside. And then Johnson throws to the outside. And that's Keenan who went in and then came back out. Giant play on third down and a deuce from the 47 yard line to try to keep possession of the ball. Going deep for McCardell and too deep. The 90 yard kick return in the 21 point game set up a short scoring drive and the onside kick and all of the rest and here we are in OT and there's a flag down at the 16 yard line because Tupa got decked right because it was about four and two. Kicker, number 33 of the defense first down hit the punter or did the punter hit him you see you see what they do they keep that leg up in the air keep the leg mm -hmm. up in the air. Special team, solid coaching, and they've already beaten the Bucks. Bunch right, third and eight. Johnson is going to start to take off and then floats one incomplete. Good coverage by the Colts. 427 into the game. Let's take a look at this. No team in the history of the league has won a game. Could add to it against one of the best defenses ever. From the 13-yard line, Manning throws and it's deflected, and he's lucky it wasn't batted and. It was a, a 21 point game and I said it looked half full. Now it's like about 62 percent. You're right. They did come back. Yeah. And listen to them now. Yell for their defense. They got traffic going both ways in Tampa. <laughs> Third down and six. From the 17. Manning throws. Caught. First down. Harrison. Third and 11. Four man rush. Manning guns it caught by Reggie Wayne up at the 40 yard line, and that's a first down. He brought another lunch, food, another tailgate. Third down and six. Four man rush. Manning throws, caught, and this is Troy Walters. So there's a new hero in every series. It's Harrison. Manning over the middle and it's caught at the 31 yard line by Reggie Wayne and now clearly within Vanderjat territory 40 yard attempt for Vanderjat Hunter Smith to hold it and it is no good a flag is down though there's a flag down another flag at the 21 yard line Unsportsmanlike conduct. Number 97, defense. Oh, leaping. man. Leaping. Simeon Rice leaping. What in the world? You know, you can leap. There's nothing against leaping. You can't step on someone to project yourself. 97. There's Simeon Rice here. Now he can leap as long as he doesn't step on someone. What is that? What kind of a call is that? I have no idea. The Unless they think that his knees hit someone's back right there, but that's when he's on his way down. Again, just to parse the rule even farther, it says if you line up more than a yard behind the line of scrimmage, which he did, leap and contact a body on the way down and attempt to block a field goal. That's leaping, that's unsportsmanlike conduct, and now a 29 yard attempt by Vanderjan. He hits the upright and it bangs through. How crazy is this? How crazy? 
on Tony Dungy's birthday and his homecoming. It's not his birthday anymore, but it's it's one o'clock in the morning. But I guess in Indianapolis it's his birthday. It still is as the clock strikes midnight central time. <laughs> then if you're going to doink the pipe you want it to go inside after the doink. What a job by Peyton Manning. How about, how about the people who went to bed at 35 14 or before waking up in the morning and saying what. How about the people that were on their way out crashing with the people coming back <laughs> in. Coming up next the autotrader.com postgame show after one of the most amazing games ever played.